He was known as the junk man, but Alan Davis's yard was such a mess, he was sent to prison for it. And not only did he have junk all over his Altamont Springs house, he even put up statues to protest the actions against him. Well, now Davis is out of prison. And Channel 9's Eric Rasmussen went to see what his yard looks like today. Eric? Well, Daryl, here it is. It's not quite what it looked like a few years ago, but Davis is not about to win any Yard of the Month awards either. In fact, uh, code enforcement just sent Davis a notice for all the overgrown vegetation and the weeds in his yard. And now that he's out, some neighbors worry it's about to get a lot worse. Maybe nothing got more attention than the giant sculpture of a rear end in Alan Davis' front yard. Nearly two years and another prison sentence later, the sculpture and all the other junk outside his Altamont Springs home is gone. I'm going to make a six-foot eye-ass sculpture and they can all kiss my ass. You're going to bring another one out here? Well, yeah, you're damn right I'm going to make another one. <laughs> but now Davis is a free man again and promising a repeat performance. I'm not going to make one. I'm going to put 42 of them across here. He's been fighting felony littering charges for years, claiming all the junk was art. He sued public officials, even his own neighbors. The charges plus probation violations earned him three trips to prison in five years. Now that he's out, some of his neighbors worry a new fight is just beginning. What are you going to do if he starts putting more junk out there like he was when he was out last time? To, to be honest, I don't know because, I mean, the guy, he doesn't care. The county uh, is going to have a little problem because so I'm not playing around with him anymore. As for the new trouble with code enforcement for his overgrown yard, Davis has an answer for that too. You see those weeds five feet tall? That's on county property. Now back here live, another interesting note about one of the many times that Davis was locked up. We're told a warden actually gave Davis the job of sorting recyclables out of the trash. We're live here in Seminole County, Eric Rasmussen, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.